Will the market go up or down? Should you lock in or float? Find out this and more with Master of the Markets, hosted by Barry Habib of MBS Highway. Brought to you by Planet Home Lending. Secured by private equity, Planet Home Lending might just be the largest wholesale lender you've never heard of. Our competitive pricing opens the door, but we know it's our knowledgeable and accessible account executives who will make Planet Home Lending your first and last look on every loan. Welcome to another edition of Master of the Markets. I'm Barry Habib at MBS Highway. This is created exclusively for Mortgage News Network and brought to you by Planet Home Lending. You know, last week we did see the jobs number and it was a shocker. Hey, we lost 33,000 jobs. That's normally a pretty bad number, but it was predominantly due to the storm's impact on the numbers. Now, when we take a look deeper, the unemployment rate dropped all the way down to 4.2% and the hourly earnings increased by five tenths of a percent. One of the biggest hikes that we've seen in many years. And that brought the annual number from 2.5% to 2.9% hour, annual hourly earnings wage growth. Now, because of the inflation implications potentially of that, bond market didn't like it. And also, when you think about the job report, we've talked about this in the past, there's two real reports. There's the business survey or the establishment survey, and then there's the household survey. The household survey is where they actually call people on the phone as opposed to doing the modeling. And when they did that on the household survey, which is, by the way, where they get the unemployment rate from, the gains were, get this, 960,000 jobs gained. So one survey shows we lost 33,000. Another survey shows we gained 960,000. Your tax dollars at work, ladies and gentlemen. So because of that, the unemployment rate dropped rather dramatically. And as a result, mortgage bonds had a pretty tough day on Friday. Quite, a, you know, quite honestly, it's been, been a pretty tough week for mortgage bonds. Fortunately, for those of you that subscribe to MBSL, you know we're locked well in advance of that, saving all kinds of money. So now, where do we go from here and what do we have to look forward to in this shortened week? Well, we're going to get some inflation data later in the week, which is always important, but I expect the inflation data to be somewhat subdued. That could help mortgage bonds and they are at a pretty critical level. Now, I want you to watch a level of 2.385 on the 10 year. If 10 year treasury gets back underneath that level and can stay there, that would be a good sign. If it, it's kind of a line in the sand there. So if the 10 year treasury stays above this level, maybe tests it and moves higher from there. Well, 2.385, although it seems high compared to where we have been, boy, just a few weeks back, and we told you to lock back when it was at 2.01, we have moved up so much. Well, guess what? Even though 2.385 seems high, unless we could break underneath that for the next couple of days, that's going to be about as good as rates get. And we'll be looking at the next leg up in yield. So could be a sea change for us here. Make sure you stay focused on that purchase business. And at MBS Highway, we give you some of the best tools. In fact, the best tools to get more purchase business, the real estate report card, our buy versus rent tool, knowing in every single market what appreciation is doing. Take a look. Check us out. See you guys next week. Hope you have a great one. Bye-bye. Feel the difference of what a decentralized operation makes. With account executives in your backyard and in your office, not hidden in a call center, we know what you and your borrower desires based on your market and will be in your office helping you through every step of the way. Those are just a few of the differences our clients see every day with Planet Home Lending Wholesale. Mortgage News Network.